Hey guys! Hi guys! And welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we're going to be making a cake. Make the well, 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 I'm going to make the cake. Mama, I am going to the cake too. Okay, Aria's going to help me make frosting. So for today's video, I'm going to do a fall inspired cake. I already have the cakes baked in the back. Um, I actually baked them yesterday. <laughs> I baked them yesterday and today is when I'm gonna decorate them. Thank so you. they were in the fridge overnight. Okay. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. And hit the bell notification that way you ding get notified. Dong. <laughs> that way you guys can. Ding, ding. <laughs> that way. Wait a minute. Stop. <laughs> that way. Aria! That way you guys get notified when I upload a video. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna insert a few clips. So I made white, uh, white cake to add orange food coloring and then I used this one, the super moist milk chocolate. So both of my boxes were the super moist from Betty Crocker and the one thing that I am going to be making from scratch is buttercream. So I will put all of the information, I mean, I will put all the ingredients in the description box down below. Down below. All right, so let's get started. So for buttercream, you're going to use one cup of softened room temperature butter, and you're going to stir that, whisk it until it's nice and fluffy. Next, you're gonna go ahead and do three cups of powdered sugar. Make sure when you do this step, you are having the whisk at a low level. That way it doesn't fly all over the place. Next, you're gonna do three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And one tablespoon, one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of vanilla extract. So now that we have the buttercream done, I want to go ahead and decorate. I'm going to do a time lapse and I'll explain everything. So this cake is actually going to be for my mom, but it's very uh, fall inspired. I'm gonna be filling. Um, let's just get to the time lapse and I'll explain everything there. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our cake board and we're gonna add some buttercream to the bottom to work as our glue so that way your cake does not move around. We're then going to go ahead and put the flat part on the bottom and as our filling we're going to go ahead and use buttercream. Now because my mom is a chocolate lover I'm going to go ahead and put this crushed up Heath bar in the center as well for my filling. So next with the part that you cut um, at the top, you're actually gonna put that facing downward, that way you have a flat surface. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat these steps for, I did four layers of six inch cake. So one is white cake and then chocolate, white and then chocolate at the top.
Next, you're gonna go ahead and do what's called a crumb coat. So you're gonna add a thin layer of buttercream. That way everything is sealed in once you put your top layer of buttercream. Next, I went ahead and got the rest of the buttercream and added some orange food coloring. Once again, this is a fall inspired themed cake and did a thick layer or semi thick layer all around. I went ahead and then used this, I don't know what you call it, a spatula and smoothed the cake around. Okay, so now that I have put all the buttercream on, it's time for decorating. Now it's not perfect, I am not a baker, but this is definitely something that you guys can do at home. So we're gonna try a chocolate drip. Now normally you use chocolate ganache, which is a little bit harder to make, so I'm just gonna use the um, melted chocolate. So I bought this one at Walmart, and then I also bought these. So we're gonna go ahead and melt it, put it in the bottle, and then we'll squeeze it all on top. Next, what I actually went ahead and did before the buttercream started to get a little bit hard on me, I got the Heath crushed up and I did a layer all at the bottom. Next up, I got the chocolate. I thought I tightened up the top pretty hard, but just wait to see what happens. Okay, so next what we're gonna go ahead and do is now you see that the chocolate is kind of getting hard on top. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it on top with a whole bunch of chocolates. But before I do that, I'm gonna open everything up, make sure it's ready. I will put another layer of chocolate and then start sticking them on there. I had to hurry up and stick the chocolates on top and kind of improvised and did it kind of like a chocolate uh, waterfall and added the crushed up Heath bars on top of all that chocolate that just fell on top.